here. The Sixers as a whole, they have their hands full with a super tough opponent in the Raptors who've been excellent this year. Why do you think this matchup could be particularly troublesome for the 76ers? Well, of all the matchups they could have gotten, this is the one that nobody wanted for many, many reasons. One, what I just said, uh, Harden hasn't played well against Raptors. In fact, the team hasn't played well. They met each other four times this season. The Sixers lost three of those games. So that doesn't bode well for a seven-game series, does it? Uh, and another reason is the matisse Thibel factor. Here's a guy, the best defensive player on the team, and he's a spark. He's got charisma. Fans love him. And he can't travel to Canada because he's not fully vaccinated. So that was a big disappointment to fans. I don't think a lot of people realize that until last week when he wasn't able to play in that game against the Raptors. And then you have just this matchup overall. You know, there's some history between these two teams. I was there back in 2019 when that buzzer beater by Kawhi sent Joel Embiid to the locker room in tears crying. And so he feels the pressure of winning there in Toronto. And the Sixers as a whole, they have the pressure of getting deep into this playoffs. I mean, they've only gotten out of the second round two times since 1986. This would be the second time if mm. they were to actually do it. That's a long time. Right. And and you said it. The word du jour is pressure, right? So what's the feeling among fans when it comes to Doc Rivers' decision-making, and how will that play out in this series? Well, I think one of the most special things about Philadelphia is they're the best sports fans in the world. And the reason <laughs> they're the best sports fans in the world is because they're the most knowledgeable sports fans in the world. And they see what's going on here. And they're not big fans of Doc Rivers right now. I think Philadelphia Sixers fans kind of see Rivers as getting in this team's way a bit. So should the Sixers be bounced early, that's going to be Rivers' head for sure. And I feel like sometimes there's even this sentiment that, all right, good, let's have them lose early in this playoff run so that we can get another coach in here. Um, recently, Rivers has lashed out at the media a little bit, and it seems like he's in over his head. This is a guy that's He's a phenomenal coach. Harden said he came here for Rivers. But the prevailing notion here in Philadelphia, at least from the fans, is that Rivers is not necessarily the coach that is going to lead this team to a championship. And being that it's Embiid's prime, a championship is what this team wants right now. Absolutely. And when they brought James Harden to Philadelphia, the thought was, OK, capitalizing on Joel Embiid's prime window. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.